few automobiles garner as much mystique as the original Acura NSX. I worshipped this car from afar, consigned to the fact that the closest I was ever going to get to the steering wheel was a PlayStation controller. When I got the email inviting me to drive Clarion Build's restored and tuned 1991 NSX, I thought it was spam, a chain email with some generic header sent to a dozen or so people to garner some press coverage. Surely this wasn't a real invite where I get to drive a real NSX using my real hands and feet. Some people say don't meet your heroes. Some people are wrong. I knew the car by reputation. In roughly 10 months, Clarion builds, a division of the Japanese electronics company mostly known for high-end audio systems, worked with partners like AM and AutoWave to transform a 91 NSX with nearly a quarter million miles on the clock into what you see here. Everything, from the engine to the bodywork to the leather on the seats, has been upgraded and restored with a mix of both OEM and aftermarket parts. The final product is a stunner. It's tuned, but not slammed, stanced or any other adjective that describes a car with compromised performance and questionable looks. It's simply a tastefully tuned NSX. The NSX, especially an early car with pop-up headlights, is one of the all-time great car designs. There are no unnecessary lines or curves. It's all purposeful. As expected with something with 230,000 miles, this NSX had a number of dings and dents. Clarion Builds has fixed those, replacing the hood and spoiler with carbon fiber parts from an NSX-R. The fenders are slightly wider than stock, helping cover the staggered rays engineering Volk ZE40 wheels, 18-inch up front and 19-inch out back. After seeing it in the flesh with the blue paint, black roof and bronze wheels, I don't think there is a better fit for this car. The original but tired 3.0-liter V6 and 5-speed manual have been swapped for a 3.2-liter V6 and 6-speed manual from a 2004 NSX. Stock, this engine is a wonderful load to the internal combustion engine. It sings a sweet song all the way to a sky-high 8,200 revolutions per minute redline. Still, it wasn't enough. The engine now wears a Wimple-style supercharger, pushing roughly 9 pounds per square inch of boost. Other modifications include a one-off carbon fiber intake, a hand-built exhaust and a new ECU, all from him. All in. Clarion Build says this NSX makes 403 horsepower and 296 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. God, it feels good to push this thing. Power comes on so quickly and so smoothly that you forget you're driving an Acura. There's no waiting for power or of tech like in some other Honda products, just stab the throttle and don't short shift. Once of tech does come on, the engine does its best impression of a super GT car. It sounds like nothing else I've ever driven. The exhaust is some strange fusion of Japanese and Italian, with a ripping crescendo that never seems to end. I couldn't stop laughing the first time I really laid into it. Still, this is far more than an engine swap and some bolt-ons. The car is fitted with KW Variant 3 oil overs at all four corners. Sure, the original NSX was tuned by Ayrton Senna, but, as Clarion Builds puts it, a lot has changed since 1991. The ride isn't very forgiving, a trait exacerbated by Michigan roads. Still, it feels wonderful in a corner. Copious amounts of evenly distributed power allow you to pull it out of a turn with ease. Center the wheel and kiss the red line as you make your way up and down the gears. I could sing praises about Honda shifters for days, and this NSX is no exception. Each movement of the lever is quick and precise with a nice mechanical click as it slips into position. Once you get a